everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to learn how to make these felted wool dryer balls. These are a great alternative to traditional dryer sheets, and they're very easy to make. What you do is simply, when you are drying things in the dryer, simply throw these in with the rest of the items, and what they'll do is act like dryer sheets. They help to um, reduce static cling and things like that. They also will get in between the items in the dryer and create some air circulation, potentially shortening uh, the drying time of your items as well. So what we're going to be doing is making these balls out of yarn and then felting them. I'm going to show you the entire process step by step. This is a great project. If you've never felted anything before, this is a great way to kind of learn uh, the basics. If you've ever uh, accidentally put a wool sweater or something like that in the, either the washer or dryer and had it shrink way down and get really fuzzy on you, um, you'll kind of understand what we mean by felting this. When you expose wool, um, normally 100% wool, to uh, the uh, washer and the dryer, you're really supposed to hand wash things like that and lay them flat to dry and just be very, very careful. They're very... Uh, delicate and should stay away from the machine. But if we want to purposely felt something, uh, we would do that deliberately. So if you've ever accidentally felted something, you'll you'll understand what we mean. Now each one of these uses 110 yards of wool, and this is worsted weight yarn that I'm going to be using. Now we'll talk about the yarn in a little bit more detail in just a moment. And each one of these is about three inches wide if you use the same yarn and, and such, but they will vary a little bit. And um, Basically, uh, about this size is fine. They don't have to be an exact size. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, you'll need two types of yarn. For the actual dryer balls that we're going to be making, you're going to need a yarn that is 100% wool. And that's going to give you uh, the best felting abilities. I'm going to be using Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. This is the silver and the white. And you can really use any wool you like. Just make sure you look at the label. Look for 100% wool, okay? And we can get a couple of dryer balls out of this because we're going to be making these for gifts. So I'm going to make several of them and then give them as a set. Now notice um, I am using some neutral colors. This is like gray and white. Uh, some yarn, uh, the dye could bleed a little bit. So if you, if you choose something like bright red, just be very, very careful that um, maybe give it a rinse beforehand. Now we're gonna be running these through the washing machine um, and the dryer. So, you know, some of that will come out, but just be very careful if you choose to use very deep, bright or saturated colors. I'm gonna be sticking with neutral colors for mine. You might wanna just do a little test run beforehand because you're gonna be using these in the dryer. You don't want any of that color to get on your, your clothing and things that you're laundering. You're also gonna need, uh, for our second type of yarn, we're gonna be using, uh, you, you want something that's not wool, that doesn't have the ability to felt. I have a little bit of dishcloth yarn here, just some extras, and we're gonna be using that. We're gonna make a, with our uh, nylon here, we're going to be making like a, a caterpillar shape, and we're gonna be tying off each ball. So if you use a piece of wool, it's gonna felt, and we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more in detail, but I'm gonna be using cotton yarn, so I just have some cotton dishcloth yarn leftovers. Uh, you can also use acrylic as well, but I'm gonna be using cotton. You'll also need a nylon. Now you want it to be long enough to where you can put a couple of the dryer balls inside. You can use a pair of knee highs. Um, now some people call these hose, so nylons or hose, whatever you call them, but, um, you can use one of the knee highs. Now what I did was um, I took a pair and I just cut the leg off of one of them and that will work just as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so like I mentioned before, we're going to be making a ball. So what we're gonna do is take our yarn and we're going to just wind it into a ball. Basically, if you've ever done this when you uh, wind a ball for projects, it's pretty much the same thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and wrap it around three fingers or so a few times. Just go a couple times around your fingers like this. Then you're going to carefully slip your fingers out and then start wrapping it this way. Okay? And then we're going to be creating a ball. 
So we're going to change directions because I'll just start going in different directions and this will create our ball shape. Now the reason you want to go in lots of different directions is so that your ball of yarn is nice and uniform. You want it to be nice and uniform. You don't want it to be uh, egg shaped or, or what have you. So just go a couple times in this direction and then change directions and go a couple times in the opposite direction. Okay, and then and then what I like to do is change it and turn it on its side, push down a little and then go in that direction. So you want to get a nice uniform ball. Now we're going to be making these a lot bigger. So just keep wrapping your yarn and winding your yarn. And we'll make a couple of these because we're going to be using this nylon. So we're going to put a, a couple of them in there. Okay, so just keep wrapping and turning and winding. Just make sure that your yarn ball is just nice and uniform, turning and winding, turning and winding. Make sure there's no holes in it, no lumps. You don't need to go super tight, but just make sure it's nice and snug and secure. So I'm gonna continue wrapping my ball and then we'll rejoin once it grows a little bit and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm finished winding. Now, this is the size we started with, and I used the whole thing to make this ball of yarn. Now, this is 110 yards, just to give you an idea. Okay, so now we're left with the tail. Now, I'm gonna be using a tapestry needle. You can try and tuck this in, but to really get it to stay put and not have any chance of popping out, we're gonna use a tapestry needle. Now, this part takes a little bit of wiggling around, so go take your tail and then go back into the ball and there's a lot of yarn wound through this ball so just kind of like wiggle it through okay now when you see it pop out on the other side go ahead and pull just give it a really secure tug now it might come undone a little bit and that's okay you might have to back up a wind there we go so see how we got it through there so just kind of like straighten it out and where it came out on the other side take your scissors and just cut it flush to the ball so now our ball is complete and we're ready to felt it. I'm gonna go ahead and make two more of these. I have two more um, balls of the wool of the Andes. I'm gonna go ahead and make two more of these and then we'll be ready to felt our dryer balls in the washing machine. Okay, so I went ahead and wound the other two balls. So now we have three. Uh, really, you can make as many as you like. Okay, so what we're gonna do is open up our nylon. We're gonna make the little, uh, container, if you will, that they'll sit in while they get washed through the cycle. So just place the first ball, and push it all the way down to the toe here, and try to get it nice and snug, okay, like that. Then we're gonna cut a little piece of our cotton yarn, and then we're gonna just tie it right on, because they need to be separated into their own little compartments, okay? So just tie that in a nice secure knot and then what you can do is just kind of slide this down okay and get it nice and snug you want to make sure everything's nice and snug okay just like that now if we used wool to tie this these sections the uh, yarn would get felted onto the nylon and it would be very difficult to take off later okay so just put the next ball in just making this little segmented sort of caterpillar shape, okay? Then take another piece of the cotton yarn. Now I chose cotton, you can, you can choose acrylic if you like, but I chose cotton because um, really hot uh, water and dryer near acrylic, it just makes me a little bit nervous that it could possibly melt. Now, it probably wouldn't melt unless there was an iron on it, but um, I just like to use cotton for this. Okay, so push that one up against there. See how it's segmented? And then for our last ball, we'll just do the same thing. Now you can fill this all the way up. You can get, see a whole bunch more in there, but I only need three, so we're just gonna do our three here. And then you can just tie that last one off. And then just slide it up so it's, everything's very nice and snug. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. 
Now, I have a little bit extra. I'm just going to uh, cut that excess off. You can fill the rest of them up if you have more yarn. Okay, so now we are ready to take a trip to the washing machine. We are going to wash our little kit here um, in the hot cycle with um, a cold water rinse. Be sure that when you throw this into the washing machine that there are towels or other items to kind of uh, rub against it and agitate it and that will create the felting that we need to happen. When you're finished you can move it over to the dry cycle and just dry it uh, with the towels or whatever. I like towels because I wash towels in hot water anyway so you know I just throw this in with a load of towels that I would normally be washing anyway and then you can put it in the dryer. Now make sure when you put it in the dryer, obviously these are replacing dryer sheets, you don't wanna put dryer sheets in there because the chemicals from the dryer sheets will go onto your dryer balls, kind of defeating the whole purpose of using them as an alternative. But you can use your regular uh, laundry detergent when you do wash them. Or if you have uh, something for, for gentle, like a wool light or something like that. I'm gonna use my regular detergent Again, wash them in the hot cycle, cold rinse, and then you can throw them in the dryer with everything else to kind of agitate and felt them. Okay, so here are our dryer balls. Now I ran them through the hot dryer after I washed them. And um, then I ran them for a little while longer because they still felt like they were um, a little bit damp to me. Um, so I ran them through actually about a cycle and a half in the dryer, but it really depends on your particular dryer and what yarn you're using and how big they are really. So what we're going to do now is we need to cut these um, nylons open to get the dryer balls out. So just be very, very careful when you cut them that you're not cutting uh, these yarn balls. So let's take these apart and the, the nylons might stick to the, the wool a little bit just because of the felting process. So they still look like a yarn ball but as you can see the yarn is very flattened together and it's a nice uh, snug everything is very close and and all kind of stuck together to make a ball. It's very smooth if you feel it's very very smooth unlike before felting where you could feel all the little bumps of each strand of yarn. Okay so let's get these other two out of here and obviously you won't reuse these again, you'll just um, use them one time, the nylons. Okay, so take that one out. You might have a little bit of lint. I did mine with some towels because I did a hot um, cycle through the wash, so I did mine with towels. So there is, a, as you can see, there's a little bit of um, lint from the towels. So just make sure that it's not stuck to your yarn balls as well. So there is, you know, it's sticking a little bit, but that's okay. It, it does kind of adhere a little bit. Just be very slow and gentle and kind of peel it away. Okay? So our wool felted dryer balls are complete. They're ready to be used in the dryer in place of dryer sheets. And they're very cute and pretty and um, they were so easy to make. And I am going to actually give mine as a gift. Um and you know, have a set for myself and give a set as a gift, you can uh, put these in a bag with a little piece of ribbon and just you know, kind of explain to the person you're giving it to that it's a nice alternative to dryer sheets. So that is how you make felted wool dryer balls. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.